So we're gonna talk about slide lock reloads. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make this as simple as possible. The one thing that matters most is the angles, okay? This is where my mags are. I want my gun to point where my mags come from. When I grab my mag and drop it in front of my face and I make a straight line with my hand, I want my mag to point where my mag came from. It doesn't get any simpler than that, right? So, just like with the draw stroke, our left hand is really gonna determine where the right hand goes, okay? If I did this with my eyes closed, I reach, I grab, I drop, straight line, open my eyes, holy shit, there's the mag, pistol comes here. That's simple, right? Now my right hand. While this is going on, no matter what happens, my left hand doesn't stop moving. If the magazine doesn't come out of the gun, one, it's because you did it wrong, because it wants to come out. But two, you don't stop movement, change directions, strip, drop, go for this, and then go to insert. You just covered the same piece of real estate twice, which is a colossal waste of time. We want to get back in the fight, okay? A couple guys have a couple different techniques, me personally. My left hand, no matter what comes off the gun, goes to the mag. Simultaneously, I slightly shift. While my gun is still vertical, magazine comes free. Not here, it didn't fucking move, shit. Right, if that happens, it's because you dropped your elbow and you're right here. If you look at my wrist, right, it's a slight change in grip angle, I press the mag, my wrist doesn't break this way, this way, this way, or this way, it simply rotates, my elbow drops in, holy shit, the mag well is pointing right at the mag pouch. Left hand is already there, insert, thumb shifts from uh, mag release to slide stop assembly, as I rotate my left hand on, slide assembly forward, slide forward, reprep the trigger, gun goes bang. All right, so slow motion. Navy's beating on me right now. Bang. It is about doing less, not about doing more. If you look at my elbow positioning, right? My elbows, about 12 inches apart. All I'm doing is dropping them down, they're staying 12 inches apart, and wherever my triceps touch my chest is about where the gun stops. That's it. I could read a book while walking on size 10 font and be able to see it all clearly because I now have an anchor point to my body, right? That builds consistency, consistency is the key. Thank you, sir. Now, I fire it, so for the round, the, the drill itself, you have the live round in the magazine. Gun still at the target, pick the mag up, grab it like you would grab it out of the mag pouch. Should look like this. My index finger is indexed, interestingly enough, nice use of wordage, along the front strap of the mag pouch. That means bullets are forward in the magazine pouch. I'm gonna take it, index finger is gonna move down to the side, like so. I'm gonna grab in the same angle in workspace that I originally did my original reload. I'm going to tack mag, put this magazine away, put the holster my pistol, and then go from there. So the drill itself, eyes and ears. Applying all those fundamentals, focusing on the angles. Good, right, so going hot, coming up, draw stroke, gun slide locks. Tack mag change. And again. <coughs> Any questions? Okay? You if you notice, I'm not terribly moving very fast, but those are fast reloads. Those are about a second and two quarters. Maybe second and a half, maybe second and three quarters. And I'm not pushing the pace, okay? But I'm trying to build a consistent motor pattern 
if you screw something up and you start jamming mags and they start going every which way from Sunday, that one and a half, two second reload is gonna go to three and a half, four second reload. <coughs> you moved your hands twice as fast and it took you twice as long. 